everybody, get my $200 course on sale right now for $25, but only for a limited time. So click the link in the description box with the coupon code already applied. Hey everybody, this is Brianna Rudder from howtoblackhair.com. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. And if you ladies love watching my beginner friendly step-by-step -step hair tutorials, then click the bell for notifications because you don't want to miss my new videos. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do crochet box braids on your very own hair. So let's get started. These are just a couple of materials that you're going to need to do your hair and some of them are optional. So be sure to go ahead and screenshot the actual products that you see here so that you can refer back to them when getting your supplies for your hair. I went ahead and pre-braided my own box braids. I used 10 packages of Konecalon braiding hair and I have 125 braids. This is my braid pattern that you see here. These are my leave out braids. Technically, I'm not going to have leave out, but I wanted it to braid like an actual sewing braid pattern so that I can achieve a slightly different look with my crochet box braids. So I'm gonna crochet those in a little bit, but for now, I'm showing you how my braid pattern actually looks. At this point, I'm actually oiling my scalp with a new hair growth oil that I wanted to give a try. Now, I want to make my hair just a little bit thicker because I have a lot of hair, but my hair is actually fine. So I'm gonna see how I like this product. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually going to show you how to crochet your braids. The easiest way to remember how to crochet is to always open your hook when putting it under your braid and then closing your hook when you bring it back through your braid. If you can just remember this simple, simple mantra, you will never get your actual crochet braids wrong. So you're just gonna go over to the other side of your head and do the same thing. Make sure to hook the braids, close the hook, and then pull the hook back through your braids. So there's no particular way you actually need to crochet your braids on your head for your cornrow base. You just want to move around and find available spots to hook your braid. You want to make the distribution of the ends of your hair kind of even going all the way around your head. You don't want to bunch all of your braids in one spot where you crochet everything because it can make your style look a little bit lumpy and not as flat. So I'm gonna also crochet that tail braid you see at the back here. Now remember, I wanted to try something different and I really like the way that this turned out. I wanted to actually do a sewing type of braid pattern base so that way I can create a different look with my crochet braids instead of doing it the typical way. So if you like to see different types of techniques on a classic style, then be sure to comment down below and give me some suggestions on more styles you would like to see as well. So after I crocheted my braids, this is how it looks. Now your braid pattern base is not supposed to look perfect at all, but what you wanna do is to make sure your braids are pretty dispersed. Now it's time to prep your braiding hair for your cornrow crochet box braids. So what I'm doing here is I'm unraveling the package of Konecalon braiding hair, and I'm gonna make sure that the ends are pretty even before I begin. Now what I like to do instead, based on what I did in the past, is now I like to actually take off a piece of hair that I'm going to be using. And then I like to feather the ends of that hair. The reason why is because it limits down the waist. When I noticed that when I feathered the entire pack, I just had a little bit more waist than was necessary. But this is how I prefer to do it now by pulling on the ends of each braid before I begin. Make sure one side is a third of the piece compared to the other side. And you're gonna wrap the smaller piece around the bigger piece to create three equal legs to your braid. So that's one leg. And this here in my hand is two legs. You want the smaller piece to wrap around the bigger piece so that it's easy for the braid to stay joined together so it doesn't unravel when you crochet it onto your hair. So this tool here is called a spindle, and this is what I'm going to use to actually braid my braids for my crochet. You can choose to use any type of product that you want, whether you use a marker or you use the end of your comb to actually braid your braid. Now what I'm doing is I'm overlapping one piece over the other and I'm making sure that I hide that knot in the beginning by slightly tugging on the hair. Now as you're braiding, make sure that you're keeping attention even so your braid looks very straight and neat. If you pull or tug too much on one side, it'll create a lot of lumps in your braid. So now that the braid is finished, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up before we install it. Because this is how your braid should look with the feathering technique. Because it looks a little pointy at the ends, which gives a very natural appearance to your braids. It also helps it to not unravel. So you're just gonna trim up just a little bit so that your braids look neat. And this is how your braid will look once you finish. 
and then you just remove your braid off of the spindle and you don't have to use a clip or anything to put on the braid. I like to pre-braid my own box braids because I feel it looks a lot more natural, but it saves time if you go ahead and just buy them already made. So remember the hook needs to be open before it goes under your braid. And I'm gonna start at the very back of my head and show you how to crochet your very first braid. So you hook it by the skinniest part of the braid, which is the tail, and you pull your braid through. Now this point is critical. Make sure you open both pieces of the hair to put your hook through. Hook the tail in, close your hook, and then pull it back through. A lot of people get a little bit tricked out on this part, not sure how to actually do it. So if you still don't know how to crochet or you just had a little bit of difficulty understanding, then just go back and watch it again until you get it because it's very simple once you get it down. So this is how my head looks with almost all of my braids installed. And I'm gonna show you how I do the invisible roots method at the top with doing it with box braids instead. So usually you do the invisible roots method with loose hair, but I wanted to actually try it out with box braids. So you're gonna hook the tail in and pull it through, all the way through. So that way you don't lose track of where the end of your braid is when you're hooking it at the top of your head. This is how I like to crochet at the top instead of the back. When I'm at the back, I like to pull the tail in through the braid by itself and then find the opening of the top of my braid to pull it through. But when I'm at the very top of my head, I like to put the needle through the top of the braid first, under my braid, and then bring the tail through. So this is how it looks so far and I'm almost finished adding braids to my cornrow. Now at this point, it's time to style. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw a couple of curls in here and this is extremely easy to do. One tip that you can do is you can make all your braids even just like this so all your curls come at one point or you can stagger them and make them look more natural by pulling them to where the thickness meets each other. So where the thickness meets each other, some braids will actually extend longer than other braids. This gives such a beautiful layered illusion to the bottom of your curls once you're finished. Now take your roller and roll the tail ends of your braids. After you do that, you're then going to roll the braids onto the tail itself and then roll it up your roller. This ensures that your curl's consistent going all the way to the bottom and it doesn't veer off too crazy on the ends. That comes from inconsistently rolling if your curls turn out really funny or funky looking where they're just changing directions. So that's how you want to roll your hair to actually curl it. Now when you curl your hair, be sure that your water is extremely hot because it makes your curl look very strong and it makes your curls last for a very long time. And then you're gonna just dry it off with a dry towel in your hands and when you unravel, make sure to do so slowly or just let it slide off by itself off of the curl. So we already trimmed our braids, so we don't need to do that at this part. And as you can see, this is how it looks. It gives a very staggered but beautiful look to your curl when you make sure to curl it according to thickness instead of length. As you can see ladies, this is how you do crochet box braids on your own hair. There's so many ways on how to actually do the style and I've yet to really seen someone do this particular look so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and I absolutely love it. So let me know down in the comment section if you like this style and choose to do any colors you want and let me know how it turned out. Uh oh, I bet you didn't know that I had a bonus scene in this video. So if you made it this far, what I need you to do is comment down below a super random emoji. It could be anything. It could be a shoe, a purse. It could be some blue stars. It could be a moon. Whatever you want to do. The more random the emojis, the better. So now at this point, I'm going to show you a different way that you can do crochet box braids. But this style actually involves you not having a cornrow base. You actually braid your real hair into an individual braid and then you crochet your box braid onto your braid itself. So the beauty about this technique is that you actually weave your real braid in and out of the crochet box braid. And as I'm showing you here, it's very simple and self-explanatory. You put your hook through the braid and then you pull it out and you go back and forth on the other side using your hook to pull your real hair through your box braid. I absolutely love this look as well. So be sure to search this style on my channel if you want to watch the full tutorial. Also, I'll have links down below in the actual description box that you can click to watch this tutorial as well. So I'm just doing a really quick spin around to show you how natural and beautiful this style looks. No one will ever know it's crocheted. 
Now it's time to take out your box sprays. So as you can see, my style still looks fresh. I haven't worn a style for that long, but I wanted to show you for demonstration purposes how to remove it because every single time I do crochet braids, this is probably the number one request, how to take them down. You wanna take them down by going backwards with your steps. Make sure that when you pull out your braid, you're pulling out the shortest side. You don't wanna pull your braid out on the longest side, meaning pulling the box braid all the way through your cornrow base. You wanna take it out just like this, as you see here, by unraveling it, so that way you only have to pull that top piece out of your braid. The more pulling you do, the more friction causes more breakage. So be careful when you're actually removing your braids and have someone help you if you can't see that well. I went ahead and removed all of my braids, just for shock factor. These braids are so fast to put in that it's only gonna take me about a half an hour. If you enjoyed watching this, be sure to comment down below and tell me what you want to see next. Hey everybody, get my $200 course on sale right now for $25, but only for a limited time. So click the link in the description box with the coupon code already applied.